Hello, Forrest Moretti here, and I've just released a new book, a novel actually, called Super Spreader. It's a page turner, a story about a rebellious doctor named Thomas Finch, who's just escaped from prison and is being hunted high and low by government organizations. And I guarantee you won't be able to put it down once you get started. Why is Thomas Finch being hunted? Why do they want him so badly? Well, we don't really know at first, but we do know that the head of the world's largest health organization is about to unveil a new technology he claims can heal people, not just through an advance in science, but through the combination of science and faith. This invention or technology or whatever you wanna call it will, according to him, combine science and religious faith in such a way that miracles, just like from the Bible, are again possible. The entire world is watching with bated breath to see if this technology is actually going to work. How does this relate to our hero? Well, Dr. Finch hates these people with every fiber of his being, but his young daughter is paralyzed, no hope of ever walking or even using her arms again. And so they have a deal for Finch, turn himself in and they'll heal her. In fact, they don't just want him to turn himself in, they want him to show up at this big event where she's going to be healed. They want him to take part in the whole thing. Something feels off, doesn't it? Why would they want him there? Why are they trying to make nice with him? Will he swallow his pride and show up? Or are they just using it as a trap to find him so they can kill him? Super Spreader takes place just after a worldwide outbreak of something called Malka virus, a so-called pandemic that gave governments all kinds of new powers and gave Finch a reason for speaking out against them. If the setting feels familiar, that's on purpose. If some of the characters also feel familiar, well then I guess we just got lucky. Super Spreader is a horrifying thriller that will keep you guessing until the very end. And I really think you'll enjoy reading it.